Welcome, today we're ranking every single major Godzilla villain based on how much trouble they specifically gave Godzilla and how much destruction and chaos they caused. There's like many villains that existed like Scylla or just background Kaiju and Godzilla King of the Monsters, but they didn't really do much. Like the stuff like that doesn't deserve a high ranking. Obviously there's many ways to scale this and some people may disagree with me. So let me know down below if you guys disagree with a lot of this and let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, Hedorah. Hedorah is one of my favorite kaiju ever. He's disgusting, and I think that in the MonsterVerse, this would be one of the most scary freaking things ever, because we pollute so much these days, and it would look so beautiful. I'm gonna put this guy under A, because it was still a big piece of trash, but for a big piece of trash, it did amazing. <laughs> Okay, Ghidorah was pretty freaking awesome. Where do I rank this though? I guess an S tier would be something that defeated Godzilla or at least like basically defeated Godzilla, but I don't know. All of them almost basically defeated Godzilla. Well, most of them did. How do I do this? It's difficult. Okay, I'll give it an A just because it does some pretty epic things throughout the movie. Yeah, no, A feels good. Okay, Mothra and Batra were pretty awesome, but I feel, okay, so, okay, okay, so what we'll do here is we'll give Batra a C, but we'll give Mothra an A. Yes, that seems fair. Super Mechagodzilla, also pretty amazing, but I don't know. It's just lacking that certain je ne sais quoi to reach into S tier for me. Like, th those are, I don't know. Now I doubt the other ones. I'm gonna move Mothra down to C, Batcher down to D, and I'm gonna move Hedorah down to C as well. I'm sorry. Okay, I think this photo is male Muto. I don't know. They look so similar. Male Muto was an awful villain. He basically just annoyed Godzilla and then got one-shotted with his tail. I'm gonna put him under, I don't know. Yeah, see, male Muto didn't do much, dude. He's in F grade. I'm so sorry. Space Godzilla is an obvious S. And you know what? So is Destroyer. Space Godzilla and Destroyer obvious as is. Those things are freaking killing machines of the monster or of Toho. I almost said the MonsterVerse, but I forgot that's like specifically the new movies. Okay, Mega Gurus, I'm going to give a C as well. I'm sorry. Muto Prime. Okay, Muto Prime's diff. Godzilla did kill it, but only with help from like that lady with the orca, that like machine that plays kaiju frequencies. But it did kill Dagon, Godzilla's ancestor. I feel like it's a pretty sweet villain. So it, it does kill Godzilla's and it could have killed the current one, but it didn't. It died. So I'm going to give it an A, not an S. Sorry, buddy. Godzilla GMK is one of the most creative kaijus ever to exist in my in my opinion. Like heart like, created from the souls of all the evil stuff that happened in World War II. Plus GMK has the coolest Godzilla face ever. I'm actually putting him under S as well, just cause he's like the most evil Godzilla. Hiru, I'm going to give an A as well. I'm sorry. Okay, now Final Wars. I don't know why Final Wars. Okay, because it's like Godzilla villains. And in Final Wars, Godzilla was a bit of a villain. I was just thinking today's video is Godzilla's like enemies, but this does work as well. As far as a villain goes, I'm going to give Final Wars an S as well, because he was like the most epic Godzilla. Dude's got like cat ears and kills everybody. Okay, Titanus Rodan, this is tough because this is my favorite kaiju in the world. But as far as a Godzilla villain goes, like Godzilla, he bowed to Godzilla in the end. They didn't even fight. As far as a Godzilla villain goes, he's another F. Oh, God, it's like I freaking love uh, Rodan. That kills me. Okay, Gigan, I'm going to give a C. But Final Wars Gigan, I'm going to give an A. Not 
Not because of his feet specifically, but just because I think he's super awesome. Okay, Monster X obviously getting an S. But then Kaiser Ghidorah getting an A. Yeah, because that's how I divide things. Okay, Fimuto. Fimuto carried Godzilla 2014 combat-wise. She was the only one putting up a fight and all that stuff. But she still didn't kill Godzilla. But if she ha if her babies had, like, hatched, she may have genuinely killed Godzilla, like, 50 years later when they all grow up. But I'm sorry, he still was able to put you guys down like nothing. She goes under a C grade. Okay, Shin Godzilla. He was, uh, I guess, the villain of his own movie, so he's on the list. Shin destroyed a city, but then kind of just like pooped himself out. But he's so beautiful and special, and we're going off awesomeness. So I'm going to give Shin an A, because Shin is amazing. Okay, Planet Eater Ghidorah is basically an S, just because it's like the biggest recorded kaiju in any movie or cartoon or anything. Monster Zero also getting an S because he would have killed. Actually, hang on. In the first two battles, I'm pretty sure Godzilla wins. He only loses because of the oxygen destroyer. And then in the final battle, Monster Zero had to power up off a of power plant. I don't think he could have even killed Godzilla without help. But like as far as epicness goes, he was beautiful. I think we could put him in S, although he's probably an A. <laughs> you, I shall plop under A as well. Megalon, I'm sorry, but no, Megalon, if we're going off awesomeness, I gotta give him an A as well. Mechagodzilla 2021. Super epic Godzilla villain. Like, one of my favorite kaiju to ever exist, but his tail attack stopped working because they spilled alcohol on a keyboard, and that's the least awesome thing to ever happen. So I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm gonna have to give you an A. And Gurus? Didn't he get put down like real, like nothing? Like he's going with Batra. I'm sorry. Okay, Rodan, I'm gonna give this one a C. Mechagodzilla probably going up to an A just because at the time that was super epic. Gorosaurus, I can't remember him doing anything particularly. I'm sorry, he's getting a D. But he's like a dinosaur, isn't he? Like he's not, he's barely, he's like more dinosaur than kaiju. So for a dinosaur, getting a D on a kaiju ranking list, that's crazy. I think this is Godzilla 1984. I'm not sure. I feel like this guy had some pretty decent rampages and he was never technically defeated. He was just like trapped or in prison. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm doubting a couple things I'm saying on this, but I haven't slept and that's my excuse. There, you know what? He doesn't belong with the C grade Kaiji, so I'm gonna put him with the A grade one. That's just how it's gotta be. And Biolanti. Biolanti is another one of those very, very special mega kaiju that comes around once in a beautiful moment. Like, Biolanti's up there with the destroyers and the space Godzillas and the monster Xs. You know what I mean? All right, let me look this list over. This breaks my heart. I freaking love Mecha Godzilla. Muto Prime. Oh my god. Rodan at the bottom as one of my favorite kaijus. Just killing me inside, but he just didn't do anything epic. Although, keep in mind that dude weighs 44,000 pounds or 39,000, one or the other, and could fly 3.5 times the speed of sound. If he wanted to, he could, but he just doesn't apply himself. Either way, this is my list as it stands. I'm sure once you guys comment some stuff down below, I'll change my opinion on a few things, but here it is right now. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.